When Hifumi Abe was just 17, he went to the US. He met an Armenian and threw him again and again. He learnt a new word. Ach. It means ouch in Armenian. Then he met a Russian. Hifumi showed him his Osotogari and his Ochigari. The Russian was getting tired of Hifumi's throws, so he decided to show him the Georgian grip. He lifted up Hifumi and slammed him into the mat. Ach, said Hifumi, who enjoyed practicing new words. The Russian fainted another Georgian grip attack. Not again, thought Abe. Just kidding, whispered the Russian as he threw Abe with Ukiwaza. Abe had lost. He now knew that to be a champion, he had to beat judokas that use the Georgian grip. This is the story of how Hifumi Abe became a man, conquered the Georgian grip and conquered the world. Three years later, Hifumi went to Paris. He met another Russian who liked the Georgian grip. As he took the grip, Hifumi stepped forward and threw him with an Ochigari. Wazaari, said the referee. Stop, said the ref. Just kidding, that wasn't a Wazaari, said the ref. Abe had grabbed his opponent below the belt. That's called a leg grab in the new rules. Abe thought he should tell his sister about that rule. The match continued and Abe won gold. But he still hadn't defeated the Georgian grip. He decided it was time to go to Russia. There he met a judoka from Kazakhstan. When he showed Abe the Georgian grip, Hifumi showed him his Ochigari. He'd done it. It had taken him four years but he had finally scored against the Georgian grip. It was already time to do it again. He tried the Ochi, but the Kazakh escaped his leg. He tried to throw Hifumi with an Obitori Gaishi, but Hifumi moved his leg. It looked like the Kazakh had received an Osotogari from an invisible man. What a victory! Two years later, Abe met a Bulgarian. He used the Ochi when the Bulgarian got a Georgian grip. Ach, said the Bulgarian, who also liked practicing Armenian words. As Abe was pinning his opponent with a katagatame, the ref stopped him. He gave Abe a penalty for grabbing below the belt. I still haven't told my sister about that rule, thought Hifumi.
The match continued. Some cleaning staff came onto the tatami to wipe the Bulgarian's blood from the mat. Clean it all up, or I'll have to borrow my sister's judo gi, said Hifumi. The Bulgarian tried the Georgian grip again. This time, the ochi didn't work. Hifumi wondered what he should do the next time the Bulgarian got the Georgian grip. He couldn't think of anything. As the cleaning staff returned to wipe up more of the Bulgarian's blood, Hifumi had an idea. He remembered a Tom Cruise DVD he once found in his sister's bedroom. As the Bulgarian went for the Georgian grip, Abe fainted an ochi, then hovered from the Georgian grip to evade the Bulgarian's obi Gaishi. Abe lifted him, but the Bulgarian was tough and tried another obi Gaishi. Abe got his leg out of the way just in time, then lifted the Bulgarian up and slammed him onto the mat. Hifumi Abe is now an Olympic champion and a two-time world champion, and so is his sister. His story teaches us that men will do incredible things when they want to show the world that they don't get beaten up by their little sister. Hifumi forgot to tell his sister about the grabbing below the belt rule, and she was disqualified for grabbing below the belt when attempting an Ochigari when they competed together at the mixed teams event at the Olympics.